So why it can make sense to spend more than 50 million US dollars on the MBBs in a single project? There is or has been a lot of press coverage most recently about the enormous amounts of money big institutions or governmental uh, institutions are spending on engaging top management consultancies to essentially help them with solving a complex or very important problems. What usually is not provided in these outlets, uh, unfortunately, is the full context of that spend. And I understand that for the absolute majority of individuals uh, reading an article, 50 million US dollars seems to be a lot, right? And yes, it is. However, if the project itself has a regular volume of a billion US dollars, right? 50 million is only 5% of this. And now look at what most often happens with highly complex projects. They are neither completed in scope, nor in time, nor in budget. Especially the budget overrun is often significant, and significantly more than 5%. So what decision makers of these projects actually need to mainly take into account is not if these consultancy is charging 50 million US dollars or more, right? But if this investment is worth it, depending on the value these companies add to the project. So very specifically in a situation like this, if the consultancies um, can restrict the budget overrun by at least 5%, this would be enough to justify a decision for hiring them. And now look at a large and complex projects, for example, in infrastructure. There are countless examples where there has been a 2x, 3x, 5x overrun of budget or timeline, leading to billions and billions of additional costs. So it totally does make sense to spend 50 or even more million US dollars in fees for whoever is able to restrict overruns. And this might not be a very popular perspective, but this can still be very true even if there is a significant budget and time overrun at the end. Because if in reality an external party helped to reduce the budget overrun from 3x to 2x, this can be still far more value added than the costs for this party would be. So I'm aware that there are many more things to consider for fully justifying a spend like this, right? Um, however, what is way more important from my perspective is to understand an alternative way of thinking about this, right? So in a nutshell, it does not make sense to judge on an absolute fee level without taking into account the value added. As for some projects, it is simply um, just not that important if you are spending 20, 30, or even 50 million US dollars of fees for external support, as long as it is worth it. Think about it.